This video will go over the anatomy of the heart. Before we begin, I do need to forewarn everybody that no, I did not go to art school. I did go into medicine, so my artwork may look a little off, but for our case, this should do. As you can tell, I labeled left and right in this image. Left is going to be on this side, right. The heart is going to face down towards the left hip. And, likewise, it's going to be situated a little more towards the left side. So now we're going to look at the route of the blood. Blood is going to go from the body, so the organs, the muscles, and it's going to drain into the heart. When it drains into the heart, it's going to be deoxygenated, or blue blood. So, it's going to go drain down into the IVC, which is the inferior vena cava, or up to the SVC, the superior vena cava. From there, blood is going to drain into the right atrium. The right atrium, just like your house, the atrium accepts things. It's kind of like your entryway of the house. It accepts people. Just like that, your heart, the atrium of your heart is going to accept blood. So it's going to, the right atrium will accept blood from the body. From there, it's going to go through this valve, which has three leaflets, which I drew in. That's going to be called the tricuspid valve. Tri for three. From there, it's going to go into the right ventricle, and the ventricle is going to be kind of the muscle of your heart. It's going to pump things. So your right ventricle will pump to the lungs. To get to the lungs, it's going to go through this valve called the pulmonic valve. Pulmonic is root for lungs, which is aptly named because the right ventricle pumps to the lungs. So it goes through the pulmonic valve into the pulmonic artery, which I'll label as PA. Your pulmonic artery splits off into left and right, and it's eventually going to get to the lungs which will oxygenate the blood. So from there, the blood is going to be red. This is kind of an interesting case because this is, the pulmonic artery is the only place in the body where you're going to have blue blood, deoxygenated blood, going through an artery. Um, so once the blood is oxygenated, it's going to go through the pulmonic vein, which I didn't draw in because that would get a little messy. But your pulmonic vein, veins typically in the rest of your body carry uh, deoxygenated blood but in this case, it's going to carry red blood, so oxygenated blood. Um, your pulmonic veins will drain into your left side of your heart, so your left atrium, because your atrium accept, and then it's going to go in through another valve. This one has two leaflets, so it'll be called the bicuspid valve, or the mitral valve. Um, then, blood is going to go into your left ventricle, which is the main muscle of your heart. Your left ventricle has to pump into the rest of your body. So, from there, blood is going to be pumped from your left ventricle through this valve, which I kind of destroyed, but that's going to be called the aortic valve. So you've got your pulmonic valve, and you've got your aortic valve. Your aortic valve will lead behind your pulmonic artery into, this is your aorta. Your aorta is your biggest vessel in your body, and that's going to pump to your, to your whole systemic side. So your organs, your muscles, your skin, your brain, everything, except for your lungs. Your lungs are handled by the left ventricle, uh, your right ventricle. Your left ventricle does everything else. 